Okay, so this is the car number 3796. So we start on the exterior. Now we have the headlamp, the front grill and the front bumper. And we also have the chrome cover. And for the suspension, for the suspension, we have the springs update for this spring and the balancing arm on the red one. And we also have this at the end of the leaf spring. This is the set of the suspension upgrade. Okay. So we have the driver door cover and driver seat, all cover in white and a tweeter, a pillar with the tweeter and the back trim. So uh, this one is the the power, the rear, the passenger power is automatically by the key. So once you turn on the engine, the the passenger equipment for the passenger equipment is will be automatically on okay so now once we start the engine we can now operate uh, behind for example is this bringing the tv position up for example So press uh, one more time, fully close. And this one is the lighting for for the driver side. And this one is the clock. I will keep it open for now. The aircon now will be automatically also. So if you want to turn on and off for the passenger aircon, off here and on here. On now you have the up and down, so fan speed 1, 2, 3 and number 4 and the last one is the A, A is mean automatic, automatic is reading, now it's reading the temperature 25, you can set at any, anywhere you like, so let's say if I press set on 21, uh, once the temperature is lower than 21, the fan speed will be reduced automatically. But now here's the temperature. If you want it a bit too cooler, so it's, you turn it onto the left. If you want it warmer, so you go into the little bit toward the middle. The heating we don't have anymore, so we remove the, the heating. This one is the fan speed for the driver. And this one is adjusting the driver. If you like to adjust it. And uh, now we have the the open and close uh, for the sliding door for the passenger side. I will bring the TV down first so you can see. Ah, okay, so now we see the door. I will press this button. Now the door is open. I press it again to close. Okay, and this one for Android for the driver side, so you press this one to turn it on. Okay, why the, why the Android is starting? Uh, this one is the mirror to see the, this is also the recording camera. So you see the front and swipe again you see the back, swipe again you see both, front and back. And if you like to see the people behind, so you just press the button below. So it will be just a mirror. You can so you can see the passenger behind. And uh, the the front camera you can adjust also. So if 
sometimes you like to move the, the mirror around you can adjust so it's facing the, the front you can adjust it according to your light also this one can also go up and down like this also the back you can go up and down also for example okay so this one is the same media player so you have the navigation is the, the google map and you have the youtube also you can use the radio and so on you can adjust the volume here also and the pickup for the phone if you connect the bluetooth you can you can pick up on the phone and the volume up and down for the driver and the reverse camera now will be on the screen it is you can remove the track or you like to see keep the track on adjust the light here also if you like to adjust it okay i'll keep it like this for now okay and this there is many, many more apps so you press in the middle so you can download extra app if you like to see some more so this this is it is it for the driver. The lighting here work properly with the sunglasses box. So the driver Android you have two USB ports and one SIM card slot. If you like if you like to have the internet right away on the screen, every time you turn on the screen you can put in the internet SIM card here. Uh, if not, we will connect to your Wi-Fi by sharing the hotspot from your mobile phone or, or you find any Wi-Fi place. For now, I will show you that the Google Map is working now. So, so we connect to the internet first, then you can see the Google Map. Right on the place on the screen for example okay so pretty, pretty much the same with the other car because we use the same android and this one is the room the room switch now is the welcome light for the passenger i will show you where the welcome light is once we go to the passenger side okay Now we start the engine, the daytime running lights on. Okay. So this is the welcome light that that we open on from the, the right driver. You can see the welcome light here also. If you don't want to have it, you can turn it off by the driver. So now we fully open the partition. So the driver can operate the partition on the on the top of the on the top of his head, which is this switching. So he can go up and down. And for the passenger side, you have this control. You can go up and down also. Like for example, press up. So for this golden switch, the left one is the sound system. So once you press this one, the Android screen, the second Android screen and the DSP light is coming. And also you can open the TV also. The TV we have two more remote. One is the standard from Samsung. and. The other one is the smart uh, remote which is the solar light charging and you can charge by USB-C also so this one no need to replace the battery this one you have uh, the open to replace the battery okay so now you can see the smart TV with uh, 
with many apps built in into the TV itself. So I will connect to the internet first. Okay, the internet can connect. So if you like to see the same from your Android device, on the big screen you have to go to the connected device and go to HDMI 1. So now you can control the bigger screen by the Android device. So operate the same, which is uh, the one below you have this uh, function and App Store also. This one you can put in the SIM card, same as the, the driver unit. So you can put in the SIM card with the internet. And this one for the extra USB, if you like to put some music inside. And for this big screen, it is actually uh, it is actually uh, the smart TV. So once it's connected to the internet, we can go watching the watching the content on the TV also. And for example, we put this one. To bring to bring the sounds from the TV. To bring the sound to bring the sound from the TV back to the sound system. So you have to put the AUX in. So you can listen so the sounds come from the smart TV. If we turn off this this app. Let's say we use the other. Let's say we go for. Ah, uh, okay. So I will connect this one for the internet also. Okay, let's say I'm I'm watching anything on here. When you play the sound, it's, it's not coming out. So we need we need to go to AUX in to be able to to listen to your smart TV device. Okay. So basically, everything you play on the bigger screen. And if you want to listen the sounds that come from the TV, you have to go to the app called the AUX In. This one. And if you only operate inside the inside the Android device, the sound will be automatically come out. So you don't have to go to any other app to listen to your Android device. And if you have the Bluetooth from your mobile phone, you can connect right away to this Android device and the sound will come to the system. And the second one, the second one is the starlight. This is the starlight. The third one, the third one is the aircon outlet light, which is the white color. And also the one behind. So you can look at the stuff that you put inside the car. The, third, the fourth one is the RGB lighting on here. This one you can control by this remote. Pick any color you like. And you can dim it and bright, brighten up also. By this device. By this remote. And the, third, the fifth one. The fifth one is this one. The one below. The fourth one is the one on the top. So you, you can open it separately. If you like to keep the top one on or if you like to keep the lower one on. And you can also, the color will be automatically changed to match it. Like let's say I put on the purple. On the top will be purple also. Okay, I will keep it in blue then. And the last light is the one on this wooden panel on both sides. Okay, so there is the other remote, which is the curtain control remote. 
So the curtain control remote, you have this four button up, stop, down, and select it. If you go to the select button, so you have number one, number two, number three, and number four. Number one is this one, the one on the on the sliding door. And number two behind the sliding door. Number three is here. And number four is the last one. And you can operate all in the same time by selected to be all four blinking. All will be open at the same time. You can stop in the middle also. Like if you like to have halfway down, you can, or you can also stop in the middle or fully close up to you. Okay. So now the seat is the new version. So the new version you have this leg rest, seat and recline. Leg rest is the one on here. This is the leg rest. This is the seat, it's the moving forward and back and forward. And the back rest, the back rest is this one. So recline. For example. And this light, there is a light inside here also. If you drop something in a, behind a seat, you can turn on the light. And as it is the touch, touch screen control, so you can lock the screen so you don't accidentally touch it when you don't want to move the seat. Double click to bring it back. And the headrest we don't have. Okay, and the massage also we don't have. So mostly we use the leg rest, the seat, and the back rest. And this one is the light and the lock screen. And you can also memorize the seat also by holding the number one. If you want to press, you can hear the beeping sound slightly. It's, it's really quiet, but you can you can you can hear the, the, the quiet sound. So if you want to save the number one, then you hold the number one for about three seconds. And once I move the seat a little bit, let's say I move here and I press number one, it will move back to the, the where we, we memorize on at the first place. So this also operate on the same seat. This one also have this touchscreen control and this is the new version of this table so before we have to pull by hand now we have this electric button to open the table and go down this one you also have the extra storage here for this size, you have the other table. For this person, you can bring it forward, the seat also. Okay, so this is the, all the new function that we have. And behind we have another six seat. So the last row we have another three seats and now we have the usb on the side also this is here also this side and for the person behind you have it here also by this side you have also the usb charger here Yeah. So this car is pretty much finished and ready to go. Before we go, I will show you the the behind seat with the sliding rail. For example, this one I bring it forward like this also. 
and memorize by holding the number okay and that's how you memorize the seat and behind the seat we have the sliding rail which is this is the new rail also which is flatter so you can keep the back almost straight on the floor and the sliding rail you just pull down the bar and push it you have the extra space for your bag and bring it back also okay so move it to to be in the perfect place and the bar will go up which means it is already locked in place okay so now this is this is finished of the demonstration of this car so the light here turn on the light you see you see the light coming for the night it's, it is really good for the night we finish uh, on the on the showing of this vehicle and thank you for the owner i hope you like it thank you